The legend of the Tikis in French Polynesia is deeply rooted in the cultural beliefs of the region. Tikis are said to be giant, humanoid figures with strong connections to spiritual forces in the natural world. They are often depicted in carvings, sculptures, and other forms of traditional art throughout French Polynesia. According to the legends, Tikis were powerful beings who had the ability to shape-shift, control the elements, and protect the land. They were revered by the ancient Polynesians and were believed to bring both blessings and misfortune depending on their mood. While the existence of actual giants in French Polynesia is not supported by scientific evidence, the legend of the Tikis continues to be passed down through generations as a way of preserving the cultural heritage of the region. It serves as a reminder of the connection between the people of French Polynesia and the mystical forces of the natural world. Tikis are wooden or stone carvings of humanoid figures found in many Polynesian cultures, including the Maori people of New Zealand and the indigenous people of French Polynesia. The origins of tikis are thought to be rooted in ancient Polynesian mythology and religion. In French Polynesian culture, tikis are often associated with ancestral spirits or gods and are considered to be sacred symbols. They are believed to possess spiritual power and are commonly used in ceremonies and rituals. There is no specific legend or story that describes tikis as giants or massive humans in French Polynesian culture. However, tikis are typically depicted as stylized human figures with exaggerated features, such as large heads and wide eyes. This stylization may give the impression of a larger-than-life, or, giant, appearance. Overall, tikis are an important part of Polynesian art and culture, and are valued for their beauty, craftsmanship, and spiritual significance. There are legends in French Polynesian culture that mention giant beings known as tikis, or tiki ki. These figures are believed to have supernatural powers and are often depicted in stories and traditional art in the region. While there are no scientific records or evidence to support the existence of actual giants in French Polynesia, these mythical stories remain an important part of the cultural heritage of the area. In the 19th century, there were many stories and legends surrounding the giant Durin in French Polynesia. According to local folklore, Durin was a massive being who roamed the islands, causing havoc and destruction wherever he went. It was said that Durin had immense strength and could crush entire villages with a single stomp of his foot. The people of French Polynesia lived in fear of the giant, and many legends were passed down through generations warning of his power. Despite his fearsome reputation, some stories also portrayed Durin as a benevolent being who protected the islands from harm. There were tales of him using his strength to defend the people from invading forces and natural disasters. The legend of Durin continued to thrive in French Polynesian culture throughout the 19th century, with many people claiming to have encountered the giant or witnessed his incredible feats. Even today, the stories of Durin are still told and passed down, keeping his memory alive in the hearts of the people of French Polynesia. Durin is often depicted as a colossal figure, towering over the landscape with a massive frame and muscular physique. He is said to have skin the color of volcanic rock, with eyes that glowed like embers and a booming voice that could be heard from miles away. Legend has it that Durin had a powerful weapon, a massive club made from the trunk of a sacred tree that he wielded with incredible strength. He used this club to defend the islands from any threats and to uphold justice among the people. Despite his intimidating appearance, Durin was believed to have a kind heart and a 